Whatever you want. Right. I've reset it. I don't know whether it's going to help. It seems to be a little bit better. But, just don't know. Um, so, let's go to Bulgaria. Yeah, I had a client in, or from, in, sorry mate, Get ready to turn right. <laughs> um, from and in Bulgaria, turn right. and uh, yeah, we we became, I thought, mates, and uh, yeah, but then all of a sudden he just vanished, so uh, yeah, I don't know. But he taught me about a tradition, or he told me about this tradition. So at Easter, they um, obviously we all celebrate Easter differently. I'm not religious, but I'll, I'll have chocolate, certain chocolate. Um, Ghost yeah, on. at any given chance. But um, yeah, they uh, at the roundabout, they smash actual eggs they decorate them or something I can't remember it completely I'm talking nonsense but yeah he told me that his nan hard boiled an egg so that he won the competition because whoever manages to smash someone else's egg oh what am I talking about look it up but it's quite a nice tradition oh no what's going on so, on that little break, I didn't have a coffee, and I think I could probably do with one. I've been working all day, and then... Yeah. And I've come on here, and I haven't done the bloody tyres again, have I? It doesn't help that I've got an almighty big lamp in my face to enable the um, web camera to pick up the direction that my face is pointing. That really doesn't help. And any bad driving is because of that, because I'm really, really good at driving. I'm probably the best driver in the world. But, um, yeah. Oh, is this rain? it going to be two quid again oh okay it's just the entry Is this going to be too good again? Yeah. I think we 
can afford that. John. Turn right. Why you stop so far back? We've been here already, haven't we? That's familiar. Yeah, we have yellow car at the end. It's a memory for you, isn't it? It was about ten minutes ago. Concentrate. Oh, I don't like it when the camera's glitchy like this. Maybe it just needs resetting a few times. I don't know. Actually, pick the right one. I'm that person that in a supermarket <clears throat> I get stuck behind the idiot. So I'm all for people using vouchers, but I'll get stuck behind someone, say for instance in Asda, trying to use vouchers for Sainsbury's. So I'll join a queue of two people and next to me there'll be a queue of 80 people and I'll think, why are they all standing there? And then, yeah, six hours later as I'm leaving the store, I realise that just, just do what other people are doing. Don't try and be clever because you'll just be shat on. by Sod's Law. Almost had him then. <laughs> I was only half on the brakes. In the first ever episode, um, I'd adjusted the brakes so that they were half the sensitivity and I made a fool of myself coming out of the first place because I went for the brakes and nothing really happened. But I thought no one's going to watch anyway. So I just kept going. So that's episode one of series one. Get ready to turn right. Turn right.
what did I just run over? Not going back. I might have actually crashed, I don't know. Oh no. Good. They're based off a um, B500 um, chassis, them little jeeps. Is that a new car? Say at Toledo was that? I can't remember. Audi 80. I did ask on a forum whether the um, <coughs> Jazzy Cat thing was still working. People are so toxic. So I searched through, and um, yeah, I was looking through other comments to see if anyone else had asked. And uh, I just put a really polite thing up saying, Does anyone know if the Jazzy Cat traffic pack still works on 1.45? And I had to delete the comment because, um, yeah, people were just going mad. I don't know why people like it. I know they're just trolls, but... People must have, like, really sad lives to spend so much time trying to ruin someone's day. It didn't ruin my day at all.
I've got much better things to do than troll people. Or let them think that I'm a victim. Yeah, so I spent nine hours tracking all the other comments in, mate. And, uh, yeah. Ended up hiring a hacker, got his address, and I've sent him a letter. Ink. Right, that's got a big red thing on it. Oh, auto toll. 24 quid. Get two pizzas delivered for that. Keep right and then exit right. I'm on the hard shoulder. <laughs> it happens. I don't even know what country I'm in. So no wonder I'm confused. Where is this? I'm sure as we pulled up, that lorry there moved a little bit. Hello? Where's that? There it is. You too. I hope the rest of your shift goes well. A safe journey home. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. What's this? So tired. It's really bad park in there, Mr. Rosa. Letting us go then. Really considerate driver. Right, I think we're at twenty minutes now.
Kreis schon ein. Another bloody towel. I think this is an auto one now, isn't it? Is it that end one? Yeah, something else that I was really surprised about was the amount of people that play this and get, you know, quite considerable amount of views and they just use a keyboard. It's so frustrating for me watching this just constantly making adjustments. Before I had a um, steering wheel I just used a PlayStation 4 controller and yeah it got rid of some of that twitchiness it's still not great but actually no it wasn't even a PlayStation 4 controller it was a um, knockoff Microsoft Xbox 360 controller that cost 10 quid off of Amazon I don't know how people play this on a keyboard But again, it's probably because it's settings. You probably have to adjust those settings. I'm crap with settings. where that was. I presume it was a plane or train. Talking about planes and trains. So, yeah, sad time. Robbie Coltrane died last week. And, um, yeah, so obviously he's really famous for things like Harry Potter, Cracker, all that kind of stuff. But I used to watch when I was a kid... Robbie Coltrane's planes, trains and automobiles or something like that and um, yeah there's more to him than just an actor so if you're into motors and innovation and you don't mind watching old format so 4x3 it's worth watching and you can find it on YouTube for free so yeah, when I found out, I watched them all again, and yeah, it's it's still good. But you modern people that were brought up with sixteen nine, <coughs> you'd probably find it really infuriating. So when I was young, 
you could honestly still buy black and white TVs. That's how old I am. Yeah, and one of the reasons why people still used to buy black and white TVs was because um, in the UK you have to buy a TV license and if you had a black and white TV you got a cheaper license and also obviously they were cheaper I don't actually have a TV license now but I don't have a TV connected to the yeah uh, whatever you call it Because I just always used to be watching BBC News 24 and not many happy things happen. And it was depressing. So yeah, paying quite a lot of money. I think it was about 150 quid a year. And, uh, yeah just to become depressed I went for gear 14 then no 13 even that didn't exist right 27 minutes find somewhere to park up in a minute I don't want to stop there. I'll probably regret that. Ball of seat at the wheel. Yeah, I had an awful night's sleep last night. Kept looking at the clock and I hadn't gone to sleep until after three o'clock in the morning and I got up at seven But yeah, when I saw that subscriber, and I'll keep going on about it, but when I saw that subscriber, I thought, I wonder if I can, you know, like send them a message or something, but this is better than a message, so the reason why I'm doing this, these two episodes tonight, oh, careful Mustang, is because you subscribed and I really appreciate it, so yeah, I'll get all emotional and start crying.
Yeah, they actually used to use um, sleep deprivation as a form of torture. So, I'm not suffering with insomnia at the moment. I have one bad night's sleep. I have suffered with insomnia in the past. And, uh, yeah, it's horrendous. It really is. So, if anyone ever says that they're suffering with insomnia, have sympathy for them. Because you just turn into a zombie if you try and, you know, keep going to work and everything. But if you are suffering from in insomnia for the first time, um, yeah. I hope that it goes away. Because mine went away by itself. I think it was stress. I think reducing the amount of stress made mine go away. But obviously, we live in a real stressful time at the moment. I say as I live in a really safe country, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Every country has problems. Right, well I miss some parking so I think I'll crash into this caravan. stop there. Let's pull in <coughs> and we'll have a look. Right, let's have a quick look on the map. No, I'm going to have to leave it here. I'm so tired, I'm going cross-eyed. So, yeah, we'll pick this up. Is the handbrake on? Yeah. We'll pick this up maybe tomorrow. So, yeah, thanks for watching again. Have a good one. All the best. <laughs>